Welcome to Streaming Deluxe. My name is Mr. Orange and welcome to a new video. So today I'm going to go through the Steam hardware and software survey in June 2024. And why I'm doing this? Because I just participated in one of those hardware surveys. I'm also going to tell you some incredible, incredible uh, developments. So please, please stay, stay tuned and we go fast through it. So it's not going to be a very long video. So those hardware surveys are... are obviously they're optional they're anonymous so you don't have to participate but if you participate then steam is asking you the moment when you open your launcher it says you want to participate and it says yes and then it's just looking everything that you have in your hardware and hey i mean i don't have a problem so with the survey so i participate uh, especially uh, since my uh, pc is on the higher on the higher range and then also developers see hey guys people have actually a 1490 overclocked uh, GPU. So it means they could actually make games even more demanding. So, and then probably a lot of people are going to cry and get angry, but that's how it is guys. So, and also if you don't have your headset, so VR headset, uh, connected the moment because I don't have mine connected all the time so if you don't have it connected then it's not it's not it's really the hardware survey and that there I have to say it's it's not very smartly made they don't see that you have a VR headset so so probably the 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 number for the VR headset adaptation is much higher so let's go quickly and we see like PC video card usage so PC video card usage so Big surprise, guys! It's Nvidia, seventy-six percent, seventy-six percent. Click for more info. You can see here. So, PC video card usage details. It is mostly Nvidia cards. I have a, I have an Nvidia card, so that's not a big surprise, my friends. <laughs> I'm not going, not going to lie here. So that's not a big surprise. So, Direct X twelve CPUs. Wow, twenty ninety two point two five percent. So most people can use a DirectX GPU. So that's pretty cool to see. Also 4060 laptop GPUs, 3.58%. And the winner is the 3060 by, by NVIDIA with 5.66% up. And also the 60 Ti is very high. The 2060 still 3.4%. And we see a lot of people also play on uh, GPUs and you see play on GPUs with 4060, with 4060, that's pretty nice to see. Then we have even the, the 1060 also 3% still play with 1060. So, but here you see that the laptop actually uh, got, got, uh, was, yeah, got over 0.74% up and then we have if we go down people <laughs> i always i remember the times when when people were saying yeah let's just buy a radio and graphics card and i was like why would i buy this so so amd uh, graphics card uh, owners are, are simply delusional in my opinion so the only graphic card that makes sense is an nvidia graphics card so it was 2.05 percent so this is this says it all in my opinion intel unfortunately also 1.93 percent so it's absolute intel is a point where it's not it not doesn't play a role in the graphics card uh world in the gaming graphics card world and intel uhd graphics still 1.48 percent and then we go down 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 here we have we have the 1490 the 1490 so this is mine so i'm part of the 0 0.94 percent of the steam gamers i'm part of the 0 0.94 percent and then you go down and you find some more of the amd cards so therefore people still have some a, a, amd cards but uh, not not really not really that it makes a big difference uh, if you if you want to say so all video cards all right guys so let's go back then we the x uh, 10 11 12 system so nothing new here or nothing super important here i would say and pc processor usage by manufacturer so this is a little bit more interesting and what do we see here again we see that most people have an intel 
CPU. So Intel is not so bad as people think because most people have Intel. Only one third has an AMD here again. People always like, ah, really? You have an Intel ship? Hey guys, I only buy, buy Intel ships for, for the CPU. I would not buy, honestly, I would buy an AMD ship, but now I get probably so much hate, but it's one third of the gamers only have AMD. So we have to, we really have to accept the, the, the facts here. So Intel CPU speeds, so I have also one of the highest one, but probably it's not here. So yeah, that's the the speeds. But unfortunately, we don't see if it's an uh, which uh, which Intel ship it is. We just see the speed. So that's a bit sad to see. Oh look, virtual Apple, <laughs> genuine Intel Intel CPU speeds here again for Linux. So voila. Right, so PC number CPUs per computer, CPU number. So this can only be the cores, I think. One CPU, no, nah, this must be the core. So, I mean, most people have like eight CPUs, so eight cores or six cores, four cores even, as you can see, <laughs> 96 CPUs. No one has 96 CPUs. Wow, someone has 37 cores, 0.01%. Physical, physical CPUs, yeah. So, uh, Eight, eight CPUs, I think then also, uh, yeah, it's also the cost that they mean. So now a lot of hardware specialists are saying, Mr. Don't you have no idea of hardware. I'm not saying I'm a hardware expert, guys. I'm just saying this Mac hardware, Mac hardware ownership. So what do we see? Oh, that's, so who who is, what do we see? Okay, well, wait, 34% is the MacBook Pro. 34% play on the MacBook Pro. Then we have 21% on the MacBook Air, and then we have 6.83% on the iMac. So interesting. <laughs> and then here the VR headset, that's very interesting to see. So Oculus Quest 2 is the winner. Surprise! So Wolf Index is only 16.45% and Meta Quest 3 is only 54.49%. So the Oculus Quest 2 is the big winner here. It's the big popular headset. That's very interesting to see. So the Wolf Index, even <laughs> even the own uh, the own product by uh, Steam uh, by, by Wolf is not in the top here. So HTC Vive still there with 4.127%. Time to upgrade, guys. Time to upgrade. So, and here we have the overall overview. So uh, most, yeah, 49.4. 2% use the OS uh, Windows 10 version. So that's ah, okay, Windows 10 and then Windows 11. So I use Windows 11. If I'm not now mistaken, now I get confused. <laughs> System ROM 16, I have a 128. CPU speeds here 22.85%, uh, have 2.3 gigahertz to 2.69. Physical CPU 6 is the average. The 3060 is the most popular uh, graphics card, VRAM 8, VRAM 8, so well, I have the 1490, so we still have a little bit more. I think I think it's 24, 24, yeah. Primary display resolution still, and that's a big surprise, honestly, guys. That's the big surprise for me. People are still playing 1920, 1080. I play now 4K. So and I have to say, I don't want to mess, uh, to miss this uh, and also not to mess around with that. multi mono desktop resolution. So meaning people have like two multi, uh, two monitors, mostly one third of people use Steam in English, free hardware space, 10 to 249 gigabyte. That's not a lot, but this most probably is, uh, is due to the fact that the people have also a lot of laptops, total hard drive, Spice above one terabyte. So, of course, we are headset Oculus Quest 2. Uh, other settings LH. What's that? Okay. <coughs> LA. L A H F. Okay, write me in the commentary section. Otherwise, I have to ask uh, an AI what it is. And with that, I'm leaving the Steam Hardware Software Survey for June 2024. Big surprises, big surprises uh, that actually AMD is really not that important. NVIDIA is really ruling the market. And then, of course, then we have, uh, we see very, very moderate, uh, uh, very moderate. Uh, 
uh, PCs that people have. So, and this is then also the reason why a lot of games are not running well on a lot of PCs and people get angry. And there's also the reason why graphics are simply not getting better again since three, four, five years. So we are really, really stuck in this graphic cycle, but Hey, Gaming is expensive, gaming costs money, and at the moment a lot of people don't have this money, so we have to respect this as well. Also, we as the hardcore gamers, I understand this, but one day when the new PlayStation comes out, then uh, everything gets better. So, thank you very much for watching, see you next time, bye bye.